Oh man, there's so many leaks of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, man. A lot of them are saying that the X Men aren't gonna make it in. Oh man. I can't even distinguish the truth from the false. There's just so much. Luckily, E3 is just about a week away. Hopefully, we do get some great information there. But if only there was a YouTube channel that actually discussed these kind of topics to ease my pain. If only there was a person out there who actually goes over the facts. What is up, guys? My name is Winster. This is The Average Fighter. Uh, before we jump into today's discussion, I wanted to say a big thank you to you guys wholeheartedly, man. Thank you for all the support that you guys have been showing the channel. It does mean a lot, man, and it really pushes me to keep, continue to bring these discussion, all this news that I get on uh, upcoming fighting games or just bring you fighting games because I love them. I want to share that love with you guys. Uh, but I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Let's jump straight into today's discussion because it is a big one that everyone's talking about thank you for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed today's video okay guys so today's discussion video is something that has been lingering in the marvel community for quite some time ever since you know the initial reveal of marvel's capcom infinite are non-disney owned marvel characters going to make the cut that's what everyone wants to know. Everyone wants to have their favorite character actually make the final roster. And I think now is the greatest time as ever to actually discuss it, considering that E3 is probably a week away and there's actually going to be a build of the game there. So anyone that is going is going to have the ability to play it. My, I myself have to work. I have the grown man life and unfortunately I'm not able to go. Trust me, if I could, I definitely would. So before we actually get into, you know, daring and what's going to be in it and what's not, let's go over the hard facts. Obviously, let's begin with what we do know. Now, we all know that Disney is a very family-oriented, uh, you know, company. They made children movie. They so happened to pick up Marvel and then took it to heights where no one had expected it to be. They made it so where if you know it's Marvel and it's from Disney, you stay in your seat until after credits because there's going to be something for you for the next movie or for the next storyline whatever the case may be now i feel like disney does give off this vibe hey we are our own company we make the decisions we do this i mean it's a huge company and for good reason too i mean they've taken marvel to new heights new levels and uh, i think that's what's really troubling people here and that's what i feel like it's giving the wrong impression I mean, Disney does make deals just with the new Captain America they released, Civil War. They actually made a deal with Sony to include Spider-Man, but everyone knows that. But when that happened, I think that was a very pivotal point in the company's overall decision making. I mean, allowing a third party to allow an X character to make it into the, the movies. And I think that was pretty important to where Marvel's Capcom can be and where it's actually going to go. The next subject that I want to jump straight off of that is actual concrete information that we actually received from Disney. Uh, Disney did state, and this information is not that old, I would like say like five to six months old, um, that they are going to stop making games for Disney or making games overall. I don't, I don't quite remember, it was one of the two, but you can actually see this reflection in Disney Infinity. I mean, that game, pretty sure it did great. Anything slapped with Disney. Uh, during the time of the toy and game syncing up a fad that was taking off with Skylanders. Pretty sure the game did great. It actually went up to 3.0, including, you know, Marvel characters, which was pretty cool. I thought it was a brilliant idea, but for some reason, they actually shut it down. Now, I'm not part of Disney, nor am I a businessman, so I don't know why I actually went, but I heard nothing but great things from the game. Now, going off of that, we also have evidence or information from Disney themselves that they are going to let third parties work on their titles. You could actually see this in uh, Disney working with Square Enix, not that they have it before, but that they are going to be making a Marvel title with Square Enix. And you could also see this with like Kingdom Hearts. And uh, another subject that I wanted to bring up is that they are also working with, you know, quote unquote, you know, business rivals such as like Sony and Fox um, with, you know, Marvel Contest of Champions. Uh, with Marvel Fight Future, um, I mean, they actually have 
um, in uh, Marvel Fight Fu Fighting for the Future. We do have a segment strictly with X-Men. You see Cyclops, Rogue, uh, nothing but fan favorites in that part of the game. Side by side with Disney-owned Marvel characters. And I thought that was pretty cool. But it does show that Disney is willing to work outside of the cinematic series with game developers to actually make games. And I thought that was pretty cool, and I hope that reflects with Marvel's Capcom Infinite. This thing that uh, everyone has on their mind is how well the game is going to do. How well is the game going to resonate with the scene? Obviously, the company has a product they wanted to sell. It's a business at the end of the day. Now, I feel like right now, the current state with the rumors and the speculation going around that X-Men and you know non-Disney-owned uh, characters are going to make the cut, I think that has a lot of people having a bad taste in their mouth. Already, the game has three trailers, and people are already saying, you know, man, if, if X-Men or if all these other characters don't make it in, I'm not, I'm not touching the game. And, I mean, if you really think about it, that's a pretty good, you know, opinion. Because Marvel or X-Men have probably taken this series to where it is today, on the verge of becoming something that we always wanted. We always wanted to be esports within the Marvel community. Not that we don't embrace the thuggery, but we definitely want to be there. We want to make the money. But at the same time, if it wasn't for Mag freaking Needle robbing you to death, putting you into these almost impossible blocking scenarios with Psylocke, uh, with Cyclops having an invincible assist, also Psylocke has that as well, and just Deadpool being the overtop, the fourth wall breaking character that everyone loves. It just wouldn't be the same, man. Um, and that's just the general conception of what how people feel about, you know, X-Men being included or Magneto being included into the title. And I feel that this game is going to have the exact same fate uh, that Street Fighter had if some of those characters aren't in the game. So much hype, so much build around the game for only to, for it to fall flat and not really sit well with the scene. And as a Marvel fan, I would be upset. I mean, I grew up with this game. And... I don't think the game would sell well if it didn't have those characters, and I don't think anyone ex expects it to sell well if they don't as well, but at the same time, that's that's my personal opinion. Now, my personal take on things, I'm literally smack down in the middle. I want the game to do great. I want the game right now so I could break it down, dissect it, really put my heart and soul into Marvel's Capcom Infinite like I did Marvel 3. Because that was probably one of the greatest times in my life, just dissecting the game and trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work for me. But at the same time, I can't stop to think, what if it's true? What if some of these characters aren't going to be in the game? What if Magneto, what if Wolverine, who are so iconic and have been since in the Marvel title since the beginning, since it was Children of the Atom, what if they don't make it in? What would that mean to me? I love Magneto. For those who don't know, I play Magneto. He's, that's my boy right there and if for him not to make the game is kind of you know heartbreaking because if it wasn't for them they would they wouldn't be here we wouldn't be here we, i wouldn't be here discussing how i feel about things and i think that that alone that feeling alone is enough to put the characters and work something out not only for the company but for the fans who made the game what it is today because of course without you guys no one would be here but at the same time i just want to play the game now i feel like they're gonna make it in i feel like capcom and disney can work something out obviously we've seen it before with these other titles contest of champions you know marvel fight for the future we see it disney is capable of making some sort of deals when it comes to their games and you know letting them swing side by side with the x-men it's possible now the only fact is, are they going to do it for Marvel's Capcom 3 Infinite? I don't know. But I feel like it is a quite possibility, high possibility at that. And I feel like they are going to make the cut. And a lot of those rumors, you know, as much as we love to speculate and guess, they're rumors at the end of the day. And it's fun to talk about them, but they're rumors. We don't have a solidified answer until the companies come out and say, hey, this is what's going to be in it. But at the same time, you know, it's still in the back of my head if they don't. It'd just be really heartbreaking if they, if they don't. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, that's just my whole take on things. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video on the whole 
overall discussion if you know those characters aren't going to make the game also wanted to get your guys' take on things what's the likelihood that disney partners up one more time uh, with these companies to give us all the game that we deserve the game that we've been supporting for such a long time and if so what are the characters that you guys want to see in these games also now what do you feel about the rumors do you feel like they're real like they're legit or they're completely out the window and no one should believe anything until E3 or announcements themselves from Disney. Be sure to leave your comments below. Definitely going to be checking those out. Uh, but with that being said, guys, my name is Winster. This is The Average Fighter. Thank you for tuning in and I will check you guys out later.